For our first grid in or free response question from the new PSAT, we're going to take a look at a relatively straightforward algebra question, but has a possible uh, mistake lurking in it that some students make. So first, I want to do it in the way that some students will do it and show you the mistake that they make so that you can avoid it, and then we'll work through to get the actual answer. So this is what some students might do. They say, okay, 24 equals h divided by 10 minus 6. So they want to get rid of this divided by 10. So to do that, they multiply by 10. So they multiply by 10. They also got to multiply the 24 by 10. So that gets you 240 equals h minus 6. And so you get h is 246. But unfortunately, that is not the answer. And why? The reason why this is wrong is when we multiplied by 10, we just multiplied this term by 10. Whereas when you remember from algebra, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the whole side and you have to do to both sides. So when we're multiplying by 10, if we're going to do that step first, we have to multiply the both of this, both sides, both terms on the side by 10, not just one term. You cannot just target individual terms with multipliers because you're changing the value, right? You're changing the value of this equation by just multiplying this by 10. It just doesn't work. So what you have to do instead, as we said, is multiply uh, both sides of the equation and all terms on all sides of the equation. If you stick around at the end of the video, I'm going to go into more detail about why I think students make this mistake. It's just kind of bonus material. It's not necessarily required to understand this. Uh, so stick around if you want to see that at the end. Anyway, so we're going to come back here. We're going to have 24 equals h over 10 minus 6. So if you wanted to multiply both sides by 10, you could. You would get 240 equals h minus 60. So h would equal 300, and that would be your answer. Now, another way to do it, which avoids this whole issue, is to, in fact, get rid of the 6 first. And maybe some of you did it this way. So we'll go back here. I'm going to add 6 to both sides. And that's going to get me 30 equals h over 10. Multiply both sides by 10, I get h is 300. So just be careful with the order of your algebra and that you're doing things to both sides, not just to individual terms. So where do I think bonus material, where do I think this error is coming from? It actually comes from something I kind of did a little bit earlier. So take a look at this step. A lot of times when you're learning algebra, this is what you will learn to do. So you'd start here and you'd say, okay, I want to add six to both sides. So maybe what you kind of learn to do is to put a six down there and to put a six down there. And then you say, oh, look, negative six plus six cancels. And then 24 plus six gives you 30. And then, you know, we're on our way. So that's fine because with addition, addition is commutative and associative. It can move around. It doesn't matter what order we, we add a six to. Like if I add a six here, it's the same thing as adding a six to this or adding a six to the whole side. It's the same thing because really what you're doing is you're not adding six to this term and this term only. You're adding six to the whole side, right? You're doing this thing plus six. And it just so happens that these can just cancel out. So where this leads you into trouble then is if you go back to this step, 24 equals h over 10 minus 6. We kind of apply the same reasoning. It's, oh, let me multiply this by 10 and then multiply this by 10, just like it seemed like you were adding 6 to this and 6 to this. Whereas, no, what you should be doing is, just like we did here, add or multiply the entire side by 10. The difference is, if you look at these two things, if you add 6 to this quantity, you don't distribute the six to both, it doesn't work that way. You just add six to this thing, it becomes this, and then of course the six is canceled. But here, you have to distribute the tens. So that's where I think the error comes from. I think the way to avoid it is to just do the addition first, right? Get it to this point and then multiply both sides by 10. And then you've got really no issue. You just get h is 300. But if you do wanna do it this way where you're multiplying both sides by 10 first, just remember that you have to multiply the whole side by 10, not just a term. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com slash enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.